How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Did you get enough sleep last night? <laughs> He's asking me because I said I look like I just rolled out of bed. I, I, not really, no. Okay. Well, neither did I. I was up at like four, and this is one of those things I just started like, you know, I can't sleep, so I just get up and work. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, hey, we're talking about today mm -hmm. on Inland Steep, which is what you're, you're, you're not talking about uh, lifestyles of the sleepless and not very famous, which would be both of us, but yeah. we're talking about Endless Deeps, and Endless Deeps are uh, conversations that are generated from you guys, and last week's conversation came from an article about celebrities using their voice, mm -hmm. really to promote anything, but in this case we're talking about celebrities using their voice um, to, to promote religion, to promote religion or their religion particular or yeah. religion or faith, you know. So, what would your take? My take, I think it really depends on the source, you know. I mean, there are people like like you said in your response, like yeah. Bono, you too. I mean, I, he comes across to me. Which I'll get to in just a second. But right, right. But just personally, I mean, for me, he's an example of somebody that I would throw my lot in <laughs> as a good uh, religious or, or not even necessarily religious, but somebody promoting a cause that's, that's good, um, yeah, that's somewhat right. spiritual. Uh, he seems genuine, it seems like he practices what he preaches, and nothing to me is too zany about him. On the other hand, I think somebody like Mel Gibson is more really divisive. Yeah. You know, I mean, he puts out some amazing uh, movies, you know, Passion of the Christ. I mean, what that did for uh, the faith is arguably good, and the following is arguably good, but, but you know, Mel Gibson the person, it's like John Mayer the amazing musician versus John Mayer the questionable human being you know that's <laughs> exactly. the same thing with Mel Gibson so um, I think you kind of have to separate sometimes the craft from the person and then there's Stevie B yeah, if you yeah. read <laughs> Matt's article I just think that uh, the whole angle and I don't know it's just kind of scary well, here, you know, here's my take with Stevie B and his point of view uh, and it's kind of what I spoke to in, in the piece that I responded is hey look he's entitled to his opinion right and he, if, if that's what he believes and that's what's true to him well then so be it right but no one I don't think should follow that or take that as the gospel as right. it were, just because he said it right and likewise you know for Bono okay look I just want to be clear that yeah I'm a I'm you know I'm OCD about Bono and U2's music I've listened to him for like half my life but it's what he said that captured my attention. It's not right. who said it. Right. You know, what he said, which is um, actually, it's, Bono didn't participate in the discussion, so it's, we're cheating a little bit to use his quote as right. one of the endless thieves. <laughs> but what he said is what captured me. He said, what are you going to tell your children that you did while an entire continent withered away from AIDS? So it wasn't that Bono said it, it's what he said. And I wrestled with that question. Um, and that's kind of where I come down. It's no matter who says it, a celebrity, a, a, a journalist, mm -hmm. a, a preacher, no matter who says it, it's kind of up to us, I think, to evaluate what he or she is saying right. and, and use the faculties that we have to determine is that truth or not. Right. I mean, is it, is it good or not? You know, however you, however you say that. Right, right. So, I mean, that's kind of where I come down is, okay, yeah, I'm nuts over Bono and their music, but it's not because he's saying it. It's what he's saying. And it's what he's saying of value Beyond the re I mean, beyond the fact that he just said it, it's right. oh he said it. So right, right. Also, kind of, yeah. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, I'm, I'm done. I should be. Anyway. Well, <laughs> also, you know, another litmus test. What he says is very inclusive. You know, I mean, the whole world, <laughs> the whole when an entire continent is withering away from AIDS, should be aware. Should be you know cognizant of this and mindful and thinking of regardless of their de denomination you know of how they should help so so I yeah, think right. that's another and, and how we genuine. as people um, can respond to that um, is, is probably good for another discussion what's mm -hmm. the appropriate way to respond to right. that should everybody responding the same way right, I mean right. that's that's a, probably another good conversation um, speaking of another good conversation next yeah. week Jen we are talking about what free will um, this is a good example of how this site is supposed to work. Um, our topic on what pets, conversation topic on uh, if pets go to heaven, kind of zany, but you know, yeah. accessible because people are crazy about their animals. A lot of that came, evolved from Joyce Griffith and uh, Janani Clay, a discussion about free will. And they thought that would be a great conversation topic, and we did too. So this is how this site will work. We want to get the query topics, conversation topics, and endless deeps from y'all. So they can go to endlessdeep.org? 
Yes. Today. Today. And make a response to the topic of free will, right? Yes. Uh, put in a comment. Maybe your comment will spur the next conversation topic. Maybe it'll be the endless deep. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Jen. Thank you. Look See for you. the new site too. See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. Happy Easter. Right. If yep. you guys do that. <laughs> if you do that, or. Or not. Or, or not. yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. Bye. See ya. <laughs>